Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Insung Rawili. If it's your first time on my channel, I am a Nigerian currently undergoing my master's degree in France. I share content here on master's application, my life here as an international student in France. I vlog and share other useful content. If these are the kind of things that you're looking forward to see, please kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my updates. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much for making this family to grow. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how you can apply for student accommodation in France. Um, this process is needed when you want to apply for your visa from whichever country you are coming from. Usually, in most schools, after you have gained admission, they normally add links in which you can use to apply for accommodation, be it for the student accommodation there in the school hostels or the ones outside the schools, and that's still student accommodation. So for this one, you are going to be using um, Mes Service Etudiant to apply for it. And to be honest, for mine, I did not really go through the process because I'm on a fully funded scholarship and my sponsors were responsible for doing it. But to renew it, I had to go through it myself. And I'm making this video for everyone there, for self-funded students and other scholarship students that have to do this themselves. So this is the platform you're going to use. You can simply just search, um, I'm going to drop this link below, but you can just search Mesh Service because I already have it on my history and it just comes up. And then if you don't have any account here, by the time you click on sign in or registration, you always see where you are asked um, registration form here and you click there for you to register. But because I already have an account here and I can just simply identify myself and then I'm logged in. In this platform now, you, you want to uh, make a reservation for your accommodation you come here to um, accommodation find um, your cruise accommodation actually the first time i came to miss service was when i was trying to apply for my, for my visa because for your accommodation you have to submit a visa for it like to your it's like a sponsorship kind of thing um like a guarantor kind of thing but then it's it has age limit like within 18 to 30 years of age that's when you can you can use um, the visa application so um i want to find my cruise accommodation see to find accommodation you come here to in the cruise halls of residence and um by the time you click here um search for an accommodation for this one but this one is already for people that have already um they already have an accommodation here yeah. but so for international students you see that um it's until it's from july that's when you can actually start um, registering for or demanding for an accommodation it's a, it takes place over in four weeks for over four weeks um that is for 2022 2023 but then for international students it's going to start july 12 so this is it for international student like you don't have any student file yet you don't have any student registration yet it's starting from july 12 but if you're already enrolled in a french school and you want to renew your accommodation it's within this time for me i've already renewed my accommodation so far my accommodation is already settled so if you are going to find your own accommodation it's actually for you to search for accommodation and it brings you here and coming here you can actually select the city so let's choose green up because that's where i live um going up um so you see the houses here we have searched and then we want individual houses and here you can actually like give your price range that you're looking for the price range here this is the price range and you come you look at the houses okay and this one is like the size of the houses this is nine meters square to 22 meters square in the same room in the same um, apartment building and if you click on this um, accommodation now home that's the name of the residence and it shows you what it comprises of this is the area of the house it's individual that is only you it's like a, it's a studio and then it shows you the equipment that they have in the room um, we have the living units, um, WC, shower, sink, and different things. The fridge, there's also a fridge there. Then this is the bed, there's only one bed there. That's for you. And it gives you the, in, um, the range of the rent 286 to 383, depending on the size you are going to choose. 
and then it shows you the transportation system available there so we have this line c and line a and the stop that is closed by there is Chavon um, tram stop and um, in this is a further description so two beds for nine meters squared seventy meters squared two four two and so on and so forth and just gives you other further um, description of the place okay so you can actually check the availability of this room here this residence you click here to check the availability and it tells you that from the 26th of june to august it's available and if you are already uh, experienced in france you can simply add it to your selection but for me i've already concluded my housing so i don't need to do this again then if for people international students that you're just coming in like you saw initially it's from the 14th of july it's mostly in july the dates can vary but the month is always from july that's when you can start selecting like your wishes like for your accommodation where you want to um, live i think it's up to either three to four or so or there are about but right now it's not yet open for it okay so um this is for this housing and you can always find another one here um this is another one this is like the one i'm staying now you can check galilee residence galilee and you come to residence galilee and you see it's mostly for doctoral students but for my accommodation i wasn't actually the one that um selected this accommodation it was my sponsors that helped me to find it and they just sent the felt to me to submit the rest of the documents to my accommodation so you see um the things involved there so you see uh, internet access if there's a television in my room um integrated kitchen and other things my house is actually fully furnished we have um your plates um the kitchen utensils and every other thing needed inside already and it shows you the other um, facilities there in that cruise accommodation and then you can actually see the availability here just like you can you could see in the other one So on this website, you can actually um, make other filters, like if you want to like reduce the price, the range that you plan for. Maybe you need something from um, up to two, um, 320 euros, you can make the filter here. You need for individual or you need like a colocation. In this colocation, you actually, it's like a flat. For example, you could say four bedroom flat. So you have the rooms to yourself. But then they, you share other things like the parlor, the kitchen area, the restrooms. You share it with other people, but your rooms to yourself. So you can find such. I'm actually living in one right now, um, just for a short period of time because I had something to do in a different location. So I'm going to make a video on what a colocation looks like. So watch out for that video. So you could actually filter it and look at these houses within your filter, like the price range. And you also see in most of these houses, too, you find like an advance you need to pay, maybe like a security deposit, such that um, before you leave that particular residence, there will be an inspection to see um, the state that you're leaving the room. Did you break anything? Is everything in order? Like, is it the fridge or whatever thing, or the chairs or anything? Did you dirty the room before leaving? And depending on the kind of damage you cause to the room, um, an amount will be deducted from this. Um, deposit that you made and in some houses it could actually be a very high deposit like in mine that is already fully furnished the deposit is high deposit of 350 euros that you have to pay for it in advance so um if by the time you leave you break anything there it's going to be deducted so you see 350 euros for deposit in my own accommodation because it's actually like fully furnished i have a microwave in my room and many other things so it depends on the accommodation so that is it for um for this so by the time you make your wishes for the international students you make um the list of houses you like to um get so by the time you get any of them you have to send the rest of the document to the specific accommodation they'll send you an email with the email address of your accommodation and in some you can actually like upload it on this website um, so for me that I already have an accommodation here, I simply had to come to managing my rent, um, my accommodation here, my accommodation file, and you normally have like, so this is my, let's say this is my reservation, 
and these are the things i had uploaded so there's a place here that you can upload the different things so this is when i was renewing my accommodation you upload the required documents here and it shows if it's accepted or not and then you can still send some other things to your accommodation and if you want to communicate with them in some certain areas also send your email and you communicate with them through their own email address so that is it for uh, making a reservation for accommodation but there are other sites you could actually um apply for accommodation apart from cruise you can use um like study parts to find an accommodation you can find accommodation on labor coin like the accommodation i'm staying for a short period now i found it on labor coin you can actually find an accommodation there too i'm going to make a video now you can apply for a visa and now you can find accommodation using the labor coin so watch out for these videos if you have any question you could actually drop it on the comment section i'll do well to answer any of your questions and you send me an email if you need any help i'll try and answer it thank you very much for watching this video we've actually come to the end of it see you next time and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my updates and please give this video a thumbs up and share so it can reach as many persons as possible thank you